My name is Will Newton, and I compose 10 miniatures for Solo Marimba. So these 10 miniatures are really near and dear to my heart. And what I was thinking with these was to kind of think back to my time living in North Carolina. Um, I have a lot of really fond memories um, between you know, playing with my pets, with my two sisters' dogs, who I love, um, growing up in a multicultural household with my mom, who's Filipino, as well as my dad, who's from the South, um, and many other things, including, you know, even just the this part of Columbia, South Carolina, where uh, me and my current fiance lived. All of these different 10 mini pieces, about one minute each, all kind of harken back to each of those. And for pedagogical reasons, I decided to write these pieces so that I could teach my students uh, with my own music, as well as to fill a hole in the marimba repertoire, which I think is pretty bare. Um, so I went and decided to tackle these pieces uh, kind of like etudes, with each one approaching one or two specific techniques within the marimba, but I also decided to throw in other technical challenges. Your hands are spread really wide, or you're having to do these really weird angles that are quick and uh, that are really quick and fast, playing two octaves apart in each hand, all of these kind of extra difficult things that you would have to deal with in advanced music that's not present in beginning music. So another aspect of writing this piece for me was challenging myself to write in a completely different style than I was used to writing in. Um, normally I gravitate towards minimalist music or music that is more rhythmically driven, um, music that is not as much harmonically and melodically driven. Um, and for myself, I decided that I needed to expand my own compositional technique through writing these pieces. So writing simple song-like melodies that would have people humming when they left the recital hall uh, that were driven way more by the melodic content. And it was a lot of fun for me to do that in that way because it was something I, I, don't, I wasn't typically thinking of. I think I have three that really stick out in my mind. I really love Tucker Dean and Nessa Rose. Tucker Dean is my oldest sister's dog, and that was the first one that I felt like I really felt super connected with emotionally because um, I grew up taking care of that dog, and he's he's this really big Labrador retriever, the most loving creature, but he's also like so goofy, and I really wanted to portray that in the piece where it's just like this loving and carefree and easy piece. Nessa Rose, she is this smaller dog who runs around and is free and is fast and is super smart and I wanted that to be a quicker piece, more lively. And I really loved writing Cinco. Cinco means five in Tagalog, which is the language that I grew up listening to every day, hearing my mom talk on the phone with her friends from the Philippines. It kind of harkens back to another Marimba piece that I really love. Uh, by Keiko Abe called Variations on Japanese Children's Songs. The left-hand part in that piece is really this repeated bass figure, and I kind of wanted to replicate that in a much easier way <laughs> while still presenting a lot of the same challenges. So yeah, those, those are the three that stick out in my mind.